And I uh, go back on Twitter whenever it was, and I see this article, this response from this gentleman. His name is Kurt Kastner. And Kurt Kastner has a little snidey little reply, which you know, you all know I love. He says this, turf managers are highly skilled professionals who understand their unique conditions and needs. The idea that they blindly follow sales tactics ignores their experience. Now that's a straw man. I don't think any, I, there's nowhere in this book that I implied that uh, superintendents blindly follow salesmen. In fact, if you saw my emails, you would know they don't. I get emails daily by super, from superintendents, from directors of many superintendents saying, what about this? What about this? I need information on this. Can you help me understand? They, so believe me, they don't blindly follow salesmen. <laughs> and nowhere in this book that I infer that at all or imply that at all. And he says, and here's the fallacy. It says, the free market drives competition, innovation, and accountability. Bad advice doesn't last long. Now that is a fallacy that's, it's not that uncommon to, to have that sort of thought process. Well, eventually it's going to work itself out if it, does, if it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, the, the market will work itself out. It's fairly, you know, it happens sometimes, but that's a fallacy known as the waiting game fallacy, which means basically give it enough time, it'll work itself out. I'm willing to just be passive and not do anything. And the system, if it's true, it'll stay. And if it's not true, it'll work itself out. That's called the waiting game fallacy. And I was like, I saw that. I was so excited. Like, Wow, you know, I haven't had an opportunity to talk about the waiting game fallacy. And this this guy, Kurt Kastner, gives me gives me this opportunity. That's fantastic. I don't know, a day or two ago, I was looking, I was like, I wonder who this Kurt Kastner guy is. And so I click on his name and it says, Earthworks. We are believers in the potential of your soil. <laughs> so he works for Earthworks. And he again gave me another new fallacy to use and to use it as an as an example to help teach critical thinking skills is our friends at earthworks and so now the waiting game fallacy so if i was the owner of earthworks i don't think i would be allowing my salesman to to communicate with me or at least argue with me because they don't have any evidence so what they have to do is, is is come back with some sort of argument but when you don't have evidence your argument is going to be flawed it's it's just the way it is you, you if you have evidence what you're going to do is you're going to present the evidence when you don't have evidence you're going to come up with bad reasons and flawed arguments like kurt kastner did here so again thank you earthworks sincerely i really do thank you and thank you to kurt i encourage you the earthworks guys to actually communicate with me. But if I was the owner, I'd be like, listen, cut off all communication with Shaddix. <laughs> I don't know why they continue to, to communicate with me. I really don't. They, they haven't, they're, they're 0 for 6 